Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Hello and Happy New Year to all my Thunderbird Build fans. I hope you had a really good break. I hope you had a fantastic New Year and a fantastic Christmas and you got everything you ever wanted um, or anything you asked Santa for anyway and that you didn't get too drunk over the New Year period. I had a great time off. Um, It was really nice and relaxing. But I am back now with all the builds and I'm back with more parts of the Thunderbird 2. And I'm going to start the new year slightly differently because usually we look at the pod vehicle first and then Thunderbird 2. But this time I'm going to start with Thunderbird 2, namely the main body of Thunderbird 2, and then go on to the pod vehicle and then go on to more Thunderbird 2. Because this is the last time we're going to actually see this main body of Thunderbird 2 in a long while actually so i thought i'll get it out of the way um just to kind of get it out of the way before we get started on the pod because we do have our first pod parts up and coming a little later on in this video but to start off with then we need to install this battery pack into the main body of thunderbird 2 so what you need to do is just flip it around that way and pop it on there like that so these two pegs there let's just zoom in so you can see these two pegs just go into these holes there and there and just pop them on there like that and then we just screw them down. I'd actually forgotten how nice it is to screw into Thunderbird 2. They go in really well and make sure that there is no gap here, that it is secure so that when you come around here it's just one flush piece. Um, what you do now is you just get the cover of the battery pack and just pop it in there and you just screw that down there as well again a nice little um, uh, screw there very simple to put in and uh, there's the battery pack all done right in the bottom of Thunderbird 2 now for those of you who are not interested in the scale uh, or in all the light up features and stuff like that I know this battery pack is going to be a bit of a problem for you I reckon you could fill it in and repaint it if you want to but because I want an all singing all dancing um, Thunderbird 2 it needs to have a battery pack you know and also while we're talking about battery packs for those of you who spent all of the Christmas holidays worrying I did actually manage to stick down the tester circuit to the battery pack I did manage to find the sticky part there I know you've been worrying I know that it has been months of worry and I just wanted to show you that for those people who are worrying <laughs> okay moving on let's swing the body of Thunderbird 2 around here and we're just going to focus on this little section here again this is going to annoy the people who don't like the features of Thunderbird 2 and just wanted a scale model but this is the on off switch as you can see it just moves very simply like that and what you need to do is just make sure that it is in the off position which is that and that is the on position so make sure it looks like that and then we just swing around Thunderbird 2 and just pop it in Zoom out a bit, sorry. Oops. Zoom out a bit, I said. Zoom out. And just pop it in this way, I believe. I think this is off. Yes, that is off. You can't see that on camera, but it is off. And we do get our first set of smaller screws for Thunderbird 2, actually, to secure this part in. Uh, let me get this wire out of the way so you can actually see what's going on. And before we screw it on, actually, we do actually also need to install these D-shaped washers around this part. So, oops, I knew that would happen. So what's the best way to do it? Maybe the best way to do it is stick the screw into the washer like that. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I just dropped it. And with that on there, we just put that back in to the hole. Push that on there like that. And just screw it down. That is not wanting to go in. Okay, there we go. 
here we go so that is what it will look like when that's screwed in very nice and then we just have to do the same for this side so we get another washer and another screw there pop the screw in the washer and line it up oh no that didn't work let's try that again there we go and in that goes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. make sure that it is fully down because this is quite an important switch I think that is in there like that yeah so it's nicely sticking at the bottom there off on there's a little gap actually actually no that'll be covered up so I'm um, sorry so that gap there will be covered up when you look at it dead on it covers it up so off and on there like that uh, maybe that gap will be a problem you have to wait and see I think you can see it there there's some light coming through that side uh, maybe it will cause light bleeding I don't know um, that is secure down all the way though so maybe we'll have to do something around that at a later date maybe not time will tell um, and then we have another one of these bulkheads to put in uh, exactly the same as on this side you just push it in there like that's quite loosely. Wait, that doesn't seem to be want to go in. It's because I'm doing it the wrong side. And because I'm doing it upside down. Right, let's try this again. In you go, in you go, there. Like that. So you have the two holes at the bottom and then this part at the top. And uh, that is the first part of Thunderbird 2 in the new year. Battery box all installed, on off switch all installed. This part stuck on. I know. I know you were worrying. I'm really sorry. Uh, so now that that's all done, let's move on to the first pod vehicle of 2018. So just from these parts here, can anyone hazard a guess as to what the first pod vehicle of 2018 is going to be? Yes. Or no. You may have got it wrong. It is another elevator. So the first ever pod vehicle was elevator car number one. And this is the second elevator car as the first pod vehicle of 2018. Which I think is quite, you know, quite nice that it has worked out like that. Quite poetic. Um, it isn't the complete thing, as you can tell. It is just lots of wheels. Um, so, uh, which is quite nice actually, because I've never actually put the wheels together before. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I got my issue one of Thunderbird 2 already pre-made by somebody who did the trial and didn't want to do it. So I've never actually put together, uh, the wheels before for, um, uh, emergency vehicle. I don't think, I don't think I have. Um, I think I put the wheels together for the recovery vehicles, but not the elevator cars. So I'll just call it an emergency vehicle. Not very specific, is it? So what you need to do anyway, stop me waffling, is get one of these axles here and just pop it into one of these plastic tubings there like that. So the pattern part disappears completely. You can see there's some pattern part there. It's disappeared. Then what you need to do is you just push one of the wheels in that way with the silver side facing up and then you do the same facing that way and then the next one you do silver side facing down so it look like that and then silver side facing down again and then you just pop the other axle on there like that and push it so that they are both on securely I think that's right and then when it's done Obviously, the wheels will look like that. Uh, and you do exactly the same thing again with the second lot of wheels. And you know what? Thinking about it, I think I have done um, um, elevator car wheels before because um, it was rolling away. Uh, because I did one set with issue two. Yeah, that's right. My memory um, is not quite back yet after the break. I'm technically still filming this on the break. Um, yeah, don't know why I told you that. Bit of useless information for you there. So make sure that those axles are pushed on really well. And you get one set of wheels there 
and another set of wheels there. Those wheels just want to roll away. Let's make them secure, shall we? So what we need to do is, sorry, just get this part here and you can see it's got a ridge there and a ridge there. And you place one lot of wheels on there like that. And then one set of wheels on there like that. And then we get this part and we make sure it's the right way around and just pop it on there like that. Oops. And when it wants to go in, it will go in. Maybe I've got it on backwards. Sorry about this. I think I had. No, it's not wanting to go in, is it? Why am I not? Okay. This is getting annoying now. Get on. Let me just go off camera, be right back. Actually, it's a good job that that is fiddly because there is one part that I forgot to put on and that is this part here. Now, I've never seen it before because like I say, I haven't actually built this part before and it's the rear bumper of this elevator car. It is tiny, it's got some nice details, two reverse lights there and some silver for the uh, main lights and that just goes into this little groove here and you will need some super glue for this part. So just pop some super glue on there like that. And you can see it's got a little ridge. Just put the ridge into that gap there. And that is that part all done. And with that all done, we can bring back the wheels. And I hope it will go better this time. Zoom out a little bit. Ooh, gotta stop doing that. And actually, just before I do that. I'm just going to put some super glue on these pegs here to hold it all together. Just in there as well. Right, so let's get the wheels back into the grooves. Let's flip this around and push it. down there like that. That is how easy it should have been. I don't know why I was making such a mess of it last time. Uh, I say last time, earlier, just now. And that is the rear bumper there, looking very nice. And uh, I did look at the first elevator car, which I just have here, and it does have that rear bumper as well. Um, in fact, the, it's painted slightly differently. It painted actually very differently. This one, you got the red lights on the outside and the white lights on the inside. This one, it's the opposite red on the inside and white on the outside. Um, I don't know whether that's a flaw or whether a very, very good attention to detail because this one is the master elevator car and these are all remote controls. Maybe that's got something to do with it. But yeah, there is a slight difference there. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd point that out. But that is that part all done and that is all we are doing of the recovery vehicle this time. Uh, we will finish that off next week. So make sure you keep that part safe and let's move on to the first part of the first pod of this Thunderbird 2 build. Okay, so the first pod part of Thunderbird 2 is the main flap, the main door to the pod. Now, um, I have actually recorded this part already with the actual parts for uh, this pod door. As you can see, I have here the flat grey uh, piece. The pod door parts that you will have at this time will be ridged because that is the main door and this is the back door. The reason that I'm doing it again is because I lost the audio for that footage. Uh, so I'm just going to um build the back door it's exactly the same as the front door uh, so you get to know how to build it but just be wary that your parts will have ridges here because that'll be the front door and i'm building the back door right so uh the first thing you need to do is get this part here and flip around this gray part here you'll see that there are hinges just here and what you'll need to do is eventually that part will attach there and move like that now to do that, you'll need the tool that is provided in these issues as well, which is very nice of them. Focus, there we go. You see that there. Uh, and you'll need these tiny little pins 
there. Now what you'll need to do is line it up like this and just push the pin. Oops. I might try with hands because I do find using my hands easier. Weirdly enough. You need to get the pin so that the uh, pattern side or the textured side is facing outwards and the plan side is facing inwards. Just position the hinge like that and just push it into that hole there through the hole in the hinge part which is a little tough to do there we go and through there like that so we have the texture part sticking out and then you just push down on the texture part with this tool to secure it in place push it down to make sure that none of the pin is showing like that and you see you got that first hinge attached now to do the same for this hinge uh, if I can find the little pin part where's that gone ah, it's all the way over here right so the uh, non-textured end first and just push it into that hole there through the hinge part like that and then just push it down with the tool so it is flat and you can't see it and that is the hinge of the door all installed very nice indeed so the next thing you need to do is attach this part here which is kind of the fastener for the door to the rest of the pod and you just put it into this rectangular bit there so that the sticky up nubbing part faces like that in the center of that gray part there like that and then the final thing you just uh, attach glue to these four ports here and for these holes there and just push down the three onto the gray part like that now it does take a while to dry with the glue so give it a good push down and leave it for uh, a little bit and in true blue peter style here is one that i did earlier and that is what it looks like when it is all glued down you see it's got that part there resting very nice indeed and you'll see that i've already gone ahead and attached one of the springs onto this side you just need to do the same with the other spring it doesn't matter which side you use you just thread it around and down there like that so you've got the springs dangling off the door hinge and it looks like that and you can see i've got the ridged side here because this is the front door and yeah, that is all you have to do for the pod this time. And that is the first part of the pod finished and quite an iconic part as well. I have to say, I really, really do like the fact that they've got the typecast exactly the same. The font is exactly the same font as in the show. Of course it would be, but it is really, really nice to see it. Really nice iconic three. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting more pod done. So I hope you are too. And I hope you will join me for more pod parts in future videos. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, like I say, I hope that you will join me all this year for the rest of the Thunderbird 2 videos. I hope there will be no long gaps like there were last year. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens, shall we? So until next time then, guys, take care. FAB. Bye-bye.